بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready, ready for today's lesson which is the third part of the uh, enrichment uh, which is the lesson and discuss of uh, unit four of course uh, today's objectives to identify the meaning of moral and ethical identify the meaning of dilemma uh, what uh, what to do in moral dilemmas uh, answer questions about the uh, text uh, one of your friends ask you to do a report uh, to read a report he wrote for a science class you read it and then you realize that he copied it f uh, directly from a website what would you do do you blow the whistle on him that he copied uh, 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 used uh, pl uh, plagiarism or do you what to do now you know that your friend cheated in his work so this is here is a uh, dilemma so what do you think the words moral and ethical mean have you uh, um, have you ever been tempted to do something that wasn't right explain do you think in every situation there's always a clear right or wrong thing to do of course, you can discuss these questions among each other, you and your uh, colleague. The word dilemma, do you know the meaning of the word uh, dilemma? Just like the one that I just uh, told you, when you, uh, uh, when you figure out that your friend cheated in his homework, he copied it from a website. So, dilemma is a situation in which a difficult choice a choice has to be made between two or more alternatives especially ones that are equally undesirable so when you are in a situation and uh, uh, each option to answer this uh, situation is undesirable you don't know what to do so this is a uh, dilemma Moral and the, the, the words moral and uh, ethical, they are words that relate, uh, relate to the ideas of right and wrong behavior. So they are related to our behavior, right and wrong. Actions that are good or right are called moral or ethical. So uh, uh, right actions are, uh, are good actions called moral or ethical. Bad actions might be called immoral or un. Ethical. For example, cheating in an exam is un, uh, is immoral or unethical. So this is the meaning of uh, immoral or unethical. So here we have four dilemmas. Let's listen to them. Then we will be asking some questions uh, about them, and then we'll be discussing them later. Four dilemmas. Let's listen to them. Then we will be answering some questions about them. Maybe even discuss them. So let's listen. Dilemma number one. Russ is at the airport to catch a flight. He is on his way to his brother's wedding. His flight is about to leave. As he runs through the terminal to his departure gate, an elderly man suddenly slips and falls in front of him. The man cries out in pain. Russ knows that if he stopped to help the man, he would miss his flight. If he missed his flight, he would miss his brother's wedding. Russ runs past the man as if he hadn't seen him. Would you have done what Russ did? So if you were in Russ's place, you're running to catch your plane to get to an important event, for example, his brother's wedding, and you see an old man falling on the floor, maybe he tripped on something. What do you do? Do you help the old man knowing that you might miss your flight or just ignore the man and uh, don't help him to catch your flight? So what is wrong? What is the uh, uh, right action to do? And what's the wrong action to do here? What's, the, what's right or wrong here? So this is the dilemma that you don't know what is the correct attitude, what is the correct course of action to do here. So of course, Russ didn't help the man. He ignored him and went to catch his plane. And I think most of us would do because I, uh, I would not miss my flight just to help uh, the old man who tripped and then fell on the floor. Maybe I'll call someone to help him then go to my flight. Let's see the second dilemma here. Dilemma number two. Mike is taking an extremely important history test. The test will determine whether he passes the class. 
Mike has been studying for the test day and night. He feels well prepared, but when the test is in front of him, Mike's mind goes blank. He can't remember anything. It is as if he had never studied. Sam is the best student in the class and is sitting right next to Mike. Sam's paper is close enough for Mike to see the answers. The teacher is not paying attention. Mike knows that if he copied Sam's answers, the teacher wouldn't see. What would you do if you were Mike? Dilemma number three. A ship strikes an iceberg and ten passengers crowd into a lifeboat that is only intended to hold nine. The lifeboat slowly starts to sink because of the extra weight. If it does, all ten passengers will die in the freezing water. The captain considers his choices and decides to force the weakest individual out of the lifeboat. He reasons that if he did nothing, everyone would drown. This way only one person drowns, and this person would have drowned anyway. Others on the lifeboat feel that this choice is morally wrong. They say that if he did nothing, then even if none of them survived, at least no one would be responsible for anyone's death. If you were the captain, what would you do? Dilemma number four. Mariana has struggled in science class for years. This year, to help motivate her, Mariana's parents have told her that if she receives a B on her report card, they will help her buy a cell phone. But Mariana has done poorly in the class and knows that her final grade will be a D. The day her report card is due to arrive in the mail, Mariana arrives home from school and is greeted by her parents with hugs and smiles. She takes a look at the report card and sees that her grade in science is an A. Clearly this is a mistake, but Mariana can get away with it if she doesn't say anything. The cell phone is only part of the reason that she's tempted not to say anything. She also dreads the idea of seeing the pride on her parents' faces vanish. What would you do if you were Mariana? So what would you do if you were Mariana? Would you tell the parents, your parents the truth? knowing that they are happy, they're celebrating your grade. They even, they even gave her a phone as a, as a gift or a present because she achieved a high mark. Or would you tell the truth and disappoint your parents and maybe not even receiving a gift? So this here is a, a dilemma for Mariana, uh, of course. Uh, here are some Arabic, uh, some proverbs. All sunshine makes the desert, or another proverb, ask, uh, ask the experienced rather than the learned. This is uh, really good. Ask the experienced, people who went through things, who experienced things, rather than the ones who just learned about them in books. Continuing here with the vocabulary practice, find words in the situations with the following meanings. So, in situation one, the main building at an airport. What do we call the main building at an airport? Very good, we call it a terminal. Number three, situation three, a large block of frozen water floating in the ocean. What do we call it? Yes, an iceberg to go down underwater. What, how, uh, what do we say? Yes, to sink, to die underwater because of being unable to breathe. When you're unable to breathe and you're dying, what do we call it? Yes, you will call it, we call it drown, drowning. In situation four, to try hard to do something that is very difficult. When something is very difficult and you're trying hard to do it. So we call it struggle. When you say I'm struggling, it means you are uh, trying to do something that is very difficult. Uh, ex uh, the quick check here for the vocabulary, complete each sentence with one of these words. We have dread, morally, motivate, responsible, tempted, and uh, vanish. Number one, who is for cleaning this mess? So, who is for cleaning, uh, for cleaning up this mess? So the answer is, yes, who is responsible? Who is responsible for cleaning up this mess? Number two, my mother's cookies always moments after she takes them out of the oven. So 
they are very delicious so do they stay or people eat them so my mother's cookies always vanish vanish means that people come and eat them they don't vanish the the literal meaning no it vanish it means people come and eat the cookies moments after she takes them out of the oven the beautiful weather helped me to go outside to get some exercise so helped yes motivate me to go outside so it pushed me to go outside and get some exercise number four people should feel that it's wrong to buy stolen goods people should feel that it's wrong to buy stolen goods so what do we say here yes morally wrong to buy stolen goods number five i taking final exams next week so final exams are next week you're a little bit nervous and afraid so what do we say yes i dread taking final exams uh, next week number six i was to watch the film on tv but i made myself study instead so i was tempted tempted is to do something undesirable i was tempted to uh, watch the film on tv but instead i went studying number b here exercise b comprehension answer the questions why is russ at the airport remember the first incident russ who saw the old man through the terminal and rushed to uh, the plane why was he at the airport in the first place why was russ at the airport specifically at the terminal of course so we say here why was why is russ at the airport he is flying to his brother's wedding which is the dilemma of course uh, was he going to help the man the old man or catch the plane to go to his uh, uh, brother's wedding number two what does russ decide to do so at the end what did russ do did he help the old man or did he uh, uh, run to the uh, to the plane and ca to catch the plane and go to his uh, brother's wedding and ig ignoring the old man of course or did he help the man and missed his flight so what did he do so let's see the correct answer here uh, together he does not help the man but hurries to catch his uh, flight so he didn't help uh, help the man he ignored him and went and rushed to the plane of course he didn't uh, it's not up to him he didn't want to not help the old man he wanted to help him but because that he know that he might miss his flight missing his brother's wedding uh, uh, that's why he chose to go to the plane instead of helping the old man uh, number three what is mike considering doing and why number three what is mike considering doing and why and in the exam so he's considering cheating on his test because he can't remember the answer so he is considering cheating on the test even though it's uh, immoral and unethical to, ch to cheat why because he can't remember the answer he, he answered he was so confused that's why he chose to cheat what is the problem on the lifeboat with the captain what's the problem there's only enough space for nine passengers so there's not enough space for all the passengers just for nine so this is a really huge dilemma here number five why is mariana tempted to not tell the truth about her science grade why is she tempted mariana to not tell to lie to her parents about her science grade why was she tempted the fourth dilemma if you remember yes let's check the correct answer here because then she will be able to buy a cell phone and her parents will be proud of her because she, she saw her parents are very happy 
with the grade and also they're considering getting her a cell phone that's why she chose to keep uh, quiet and not tell them and with that we reached the end of this lesson see you next lesson inshallah subhanakallah wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum